The yard sales were exploding with collectibles today. I think I would like to make you an offer on a big chunk of these. This right here? What is that? Belong to, uh... That's cool. Bloggy flips. Good morning. It took the heads off of everything <laughs> that was younger. That's and funny. now we can't find it. So we'll just give whatever. Okay. Or if there's no head, you can actually probably just take it. Oh, you got like a yeah. bag of heads though. Yeah, just ran. But see, I can't get this head to go on that one. It won't stick. No. Gotcha. Okay. Don't like his price, make him an offer. Okay. He, uh, he's just, um, trying to downsize. Well, downsize, but also, like, he, there, his twin is going to Spain to study abroad. Uh huh. And he wanted to raise money. Gotcha. Make I didn't this trip happen. Around, Emma. Right. Oh, All right, um, let me see here. I think I would like to make you an offer on a big chunk of these. Okay. If you're, if you're open to it. Yeah, I'm sure he... I'm trying to get everything in one place here that I'd be interested in. So everything that's marked is 120, and then I have these bags and these broken guys. You uh -huh. just do 120 for all of it. So okay. it's just like throwing in the broken stuff. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Oh, my son's gonna be so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so many people are gonna be pissed though. I bet I've got like 120 messages. Like, hey, your... it's after eight. They could have been here. Yeah. What is your <laughs> 120. Awesome. Thanks a Thank bunch, you. My dude is gonna be thrilled. Let me grab you okay. Sure, that'd be great. Uh, thank you so much no, and good luck to you. you. Appreciate it. Um, All right, what do we got here? I'll buy a lemonade from you. Aw, Emma. Thank you so much. Okay. What do you say? There you go. Keep the change. What do you say, Emma? Oh, appreciate you. Good thank luck. You. Hey, thank you. All right. Thank you. What's up, man? How you doing? Chilling. Long time no see. Yeah, I wondered if this was you, actually. Yeah. This How's it going, me. man? Doing good. <clears throat> Got a little something, something, a little bit of a deck pile. What's up? Says five Well, I'm gonna hang out with this drink, man. Yeah. This right here? Yeah. What is it that? It belonged to uh, like an ICP, like a twisted light band or like something. And, uh -huh. and his stuff is like sought after. Really? Some uh, comps are like $80. Dude, it's crazy. Huh. What are you asking on it? Just like 10 bucks. Ten? Or oh, sure. <laughs> Why not? I got some more. I got like a death pile of my vintage clothing. Oh, really? Through. Yeah, it's going to be like a huge tarp. Oh, that's cool. Color. Like any rock t shirts or anything? You know it, yeah. man. Yeah, right on. That's cool. What are you doing on the sleeping bags? I got 15 each. 15 each? Cool. I'll do all three of them. All three of them? Yeah. There you go. Thanks, man. Froggy beat me here? What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> Well, you gotta be quicker than that. No. <laughs> I drove from the south side. I know you came all the way up. Oh, you found my boy Red! Look at that. My boy Red, bro. <laughs> That's an old one. Yeah, dude. A goodie. I grew up on Fraggle Rock. Right? Me too. Yeah, I do some light picking, but you know, I'm just concentrating on my like, on my, my vintage shop and shit yeah. like that now. So, where's your shop? Uh, it's on Keystone 5434. 
North Keystone. I specialize in like tie dyes, jerseys, sports, and all that type of stuff. I got hats, shoes. Just open regular hours, like. Yeah, like well, I've been doing pop ups downtown, but <clears throat> I mean, I like at the Black Circle like stuff. Three days a week, twelve to like seven. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Do you do like the uh, Black Circle stuff? Yeah, I yeah. do like that type of stuff. I I've do, never like, been there, but the, that looks uh, cool. Fountain Square, like the first Friday. Oh, okay. Doing sure. Tonight, yeah. That's pretty cool. Fountain Square is popping, man. What's up? How much on the hat? Just three dollars. Any hat you want, three three dollars. What you know about that last dragon, bro? There you go. Look at that. <laughs> that shows up. All right, you want to add me up? Yeah, square up, bud. Uh, that, and then uh, these two also. All right. Maybe that. I don't know what you're asking on that. Oh, man, I'll just throw it in, bro. Oh. Throw it in, man. We old, we old <laughs> friends, man, from back last year. <laughs> so even 100. Cool. Everything. And then uh, bags. Oh. Uh, 15, 15, 15, that's 45. So 145. 145, deal. My dude. You know what I bought? I don't need change. Till later, Tolo. Cool. Right. No doubt. Yeah, it was pretty Yeah, those dudes in great shape. That had almost like a. Good morning, how are you? That's cool. I'm going to take your poster. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for a second, though. Thank you. Okay. Digest. Okay. Cool. Are you open? He's right there. I think he is. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm just shopping. All right, got a few things here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the Godzilla and the Marilyn Monroe. What's so that? I'm going to do the Godzilla yeah. and the Marilyn Monroe. Okay, what well, I got on the Godzilla 15. 15. Fifteen, ten, twenty-five. 25. I do 50 for everything. 50 for everything. And then, we, let's see, would you do 20 more for the Indian? What I got on here? 25. So. 74, I'm cool. That'll work. Thank you. Seventy. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll be right back for those. So we made it back to the showroom. The yard sales were exploding with collectibles today. I think I hit eight in the course of about two hours. Three were pretty dang juicy. And if you're a yard sale hunter yourself, you know that's not a bad average. But in that two hours, I was able to check off pretty much every box. Found some stuff for the collection, found some stuff for the website, found some stuff for future toy and collectible shows, and even found just some cool nostalgic nuggets that I'll figure out what to do with later. But real quick, let's take a closer look at everything. 
You'll have to excuse the background mess. I'm doing a little remodeling right now. But the first sale, I just saw tons and tons of NECA figures, which isn't something I normally have much interest in. I don't collect them. I don't really deal much in the modern stuff. Seeing so many parts and pieces just kind of piqued my interest a bit. What you're looking at here is just a ton of action figure fodder. Parts and pieces, heads and hands, bodies, legs, feet, accessories. Great for customizers, great for artists. I was definitely more intrigued than I would have been if everything had been boxed and mint. I just kind of saw it as a cool little opportunity. I basically paid the $120 sticker price and just kind of bundled in all the extra parts and pieces. All these predator heads and all these extra evil dead heads and accessories and chainsaws and weapons over here. I mainly stuck to the alien and the predator franchises with a couple little horror guys mixed in here. And I even lucked out by grabbing what turned out to be Evil Ed from the Evil Dead 2 NECA set. Kind of a pricey little figure by itself. That one kind of surprised me. I've not really done much research on the other stuff, but I mean, just do a quick search for NECA Predator heads and, and you'll see some potential there for sure. And of course, we can't forget the Garbage Pail Kids Tiger King set. I believe this is Series 3. Couldn't leave that sitting there for five bucks. At the second sale, I ran into Jermaine, who I met last year at his yard sale when I bought my beautiful Lost Boys poster from him. He normally sells out of his brick and mortar shop, but I guess when things sit a while, he'll have a yard sale, pass on the bargains. And this sale, just like last year, was stuffed full of nostalgia. I picked up a few VHS for the shelf. We got Elvira, a sealed copy of Tremors, and of course, I never pass up Vintage Godzilla. And then some VHS for the website. We have a Marvel matinee, Barbie and the Rockers, a sealed copy of Marvin the Martian Space Tunes, and a sealed Charlie Brown double feature. Likewise, I got the Dragon Ball Z Season 9 DVD, a cool little Pokemon hat, the Vintage Fraggle Rock plush, a nice little run of Vintage Hot Wheels. Got a couple records, most notably the Last Dragon soundtrack. Pretty sought after album right there. A couple sealed cassettes, Weird Al Yankovic, the food album. This one has a little crushing right there. But the uh, Beavis and Butthead soundtrack is pretty nice. I used to listen to this all the time when I was a kid. Pretty clean copy of Spawn number 88. Not a bad Spawn issue. This shirt isn't super old. 2009, I think. But I really like the all-over Spider-Man print. And, of course, I couldn't pass up the vintage sleeping bags. TMNT, New Kids on the Block, and Michael Jordan. And if there's any question at all on value, we can put that to rest right here. This copy of I Ain't Ya Homie by Esham. I just thought the cover art was interesting on it. But Jermaine did tell me it comped pretty high. Did a little research on it. Apparently this came out in two different prints. The first print had this clear case. The second print had a black case. Both pretty rare. I think around 500 copies each. Doesn't show up very often, but when it does, it looks like it sells for between like 150 and close to $200. Pretty crazy. And finally the last sale. Just a nice little hidden gem tucked away in a neighborhood. I followed some signs on the way home. Definitely glad I stopped. All in at 70 bucks, but a few of those were gifts. First thing I noticed from the road was this frame Godzilla a poster saw that it was 15 bucks thought it would look great on the wall after i got it home i realized that this has probably been in this frame for decades which made me start wondering is this an original godzilla king of the monsters poster from 1956 i very carefully took it out of the frame and it had definitely been in there a long time it was pretty much stuck to the glass an original godzilla king of the monsters one sheet can have value exceeding five thousand dollars what i noticed when i got it out of the frame it was unfortunately trimmed all the way around to fit in this frame that's too small. So there's info that I wasn't able to see, but like I said, it's been in this frame for a very, very long time. I just very carefully put it back in the frame exactly how it was, and I'm going back to my original plan. It'll look great on the wall. Quickly, it's worth noting that these are not real turkey red cards. That's the reason I left these out, but they're pretty cool little reproductions. Got the 1984 matted Michael Jackson poster printed by Triumph. Kind of looks like a carnival prize or something. I'm not really sure. Thought it was cool though. I love picking up vintage Michael Jackson items. And lastly, this binder of cards was a pretty cool pickup. I noticed that it was a lot of Allen and Ginter with some other things mixed in. I just love different pop culture cards and I really like these Allen and Ginter inserts. I've not been through the whole binder yet, but I did look up a couple that, that kind of caught my eye. The three that really stuck out would be the Joey Chestnut, of course the Bruce Lee here in the front, and probably the best one of all, Mike Tyson up here in the corner. A really cool little binder of cards that's not just the same old stuff that you normally see at a yard sale. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, love ya, bye.